Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Carol Hickman here with Chick Stamper. Let me just bring you down a little bit. I hope you're having a great Thursday. Here in Phoenix, we're kind of having a dreary, odd day. Even a few sprinkles out there, but it's a little gray and gloomy. So I've got some extra lights uh, at my workstation here. So hopefully everything will be bright enough for you. I don't have much of that natural sunlight today, which is rare, as you know, for Phoenix. All right. So happy November. I hope you had a great October and a fun Halloween where you are. My husband and I sat out in the driveway and we decorated a little bit and sat out there and passed out candy and it was a gorgeous night. Um, we've lived in Phoenix for over 20 years and some Halloweens it's cold, others it's beautiful. This year it was beautiful. We just sat out there without a jacket and talked to the neighbors and it was kind of fun. So I hope you had a good time too. Hey, you guys, thanks for joining in. This week, Stampin' Up! on the first um, released some new product, and it's really kind of fun. It's gorgeous. It's called the Fitting Florets Collection. And part of it, hey, Marianne, part of it will be uh, in our upcoming spring catalog, which gets released in January. It'll be January through April mini catalog for 2023. And so in that catalog, we've got the frame florets dies bundled with the frame florets stamp set. We are so excited to say Stampin' Up! has been listening to us and our suggestions. And it sounds like from the January mini catalog going forward, the stamp sets and the dies will be called the same thing. So number one, it'll be much easier to find. Um, but number two, it'll be much easier to remember. All the different names is kind of hard. <laughs> so that part of the collection um, will be remaining through April. But then we have a limited edition part of the collection and that's this framed and festive. So it's, it's geared towards Christmas. This stamp set um, is only available through the holidays or while supplies last. Gorgeous designer paper. Let's see if I can hold this up. This paper is only available uh, through the holidays or while supplies last. And then the same for these really pretty gold swirls. I don't know if you can see that. See how they're kind of swirled like little peppermint candies? Uh, gorgeous, so much fun. But again, that's the part that's limited limited edition, so to speak. So it's all part of the large collection. So I just thought it would be fun to show you that today. Hey, Francis, I'm glad you guys are joining in today. I appreciate it. I'm kind of moving videos to Thursdays. So thanks for finding me. Okay, so we've got this big collection. So I'm uh, I think I'm gonna turn the camera down. One thing, let me just show you real quick because this is kind of fun, I think. Let me show you our first card that we're gonna make today. And I'm gonna show you a this or that. Whoops, there we go. So wishes for a beautiful birthday. I wanted to do one holiday card and one birthday card today. So you can see that I have uh, die cut the soft succulent paper and then stamped one of the flower images and colored it and popped it into that space. Isn't that fun? But what I want to show you, the other option, because some of the paper is just so gorgeous and see how it matches right there. <laughs> it matches that same die. I remade the card to show you what it would look like uh, using the designer paper instead of stamping and coloring. So the options are there. Isn't that gorgeous? And obviously so easy. So just use the coordinating die, trimmed out a piece of the uh, designer paper, and then pop that right in there, and we were good to go. So it's kind of fun, a lot of, a lot of options and things like that. So we are going to make the colored one today, though, because I just wanted to show you that. But I will be posting at some time kind of this or that, A or B, what do you like the best? Because I think that's kind of fun. All right, now I'm going to make the camera go down. Let's take a peek and see how we're doing. I had to adjust my 
height on my little camera holder. So we'll see how we're at, how we're doing. Let me bring you up on my tablet here. And then I can kind of see a little bit more. There we go. All right. All right, so I think, oh, we are back. Oh, golly, hang on, let's switch this around, sorry. I did it before I started thinking that that would help. But it didn't, so let's just do it now. All right. Let's see. And of course now everything's all out of whack in the wrong spot. Sorry guys, let me put this pretty card up here so you can at least look at that. Because now I've twisted my camera and or my phone and I forget what side my little camera is on. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So here's this pretty card. That's more important than getting you seeing everything. You do see the host code, I know you see that. If you're gonna order this weekend, be sure you order by Monday. All orders over $50 will receive the full class packet plus a full pack of these beautiful gold swirls. And they already have adhesive on the back. They're just gorgeous. So you'll get the full pack that I'll ship to you next week for any orders over 50. Um, anybody that orders today though, I am, I do have a, a post office pickup tomorrow. So, so your packet will go out tomorrow. Let's see, if, if I have enough of the gold swirls, I should say, because I have more on order. All right. Isn't this pretty? So you can see that I also added the golden vanilla satin edged ribbon. Isn't that pretty? I wanted to bring some more gold into it. I wanted to use the gold swirls. But let me remind you, we're not doing it today, but you can always use your Stampin' Blends, right? And color the gold a little bit. So if you wanted it green, red, pink, you could do that as well. But today we're gonna leave them gold. All right, let me show you how I did this piece here. So I've got a piece of soft succulent. Remember that all of the measurements, you guys, will be on my blog this afternoon at chickstamper.com. So make sure you take up there a little bit and see that and, and print it off. Print off the PDF that I have on there for you with all the directions and this full supply list. All right, so let's look at these dies again. This die is the die that coordinates with this floral stamp image. So we took this die and just laid it on a piece of soft succulent and ran it through the die machine to cut that piece out because I wanted a hole there that I could put the flowers in. So then I have a piece of basic white to stamp that floral image on. And we'll do that and we're gonna use our Memento uh, tuxedo black ink because that allows us to use our uh, Stampin' Blends, which are, remember, our alcohol markers. So when I stamp this, I'm going to, especially today on video, I'm going to just try to stamp in this upper right corner and match, um, match up the kind of the image a little bit because I'm going to be placing it behind my succulent piece. I could die cut it out and then plop it right in the middle, but just for the sake of video, I think I'll just put it right behind it. So I'm just going to, there's no wrong or right because I can always trim my edges if I don't quite make it the right angle. As long as I've got that good memento coverage on there, that's good. All right. So we've got this piece. We've got our card base, which is Evening Evergreen. That nice deep green, just so beautiful. 
All right, and our piece of designer paper we're using is this gorgeous floral. On the back, it kind of has this kind of funky, funky design, which would be fun to use in maybe strips or, or pieces of, but I want to use the pretty florals today. So I've got that ready to go. So this piece here, we just need to color. So I've got some different colors to use and quite a few listed on the supply list. But I'm gonna start with polished pink for uh, my flower. So I've got dark and light, and I'm just gonna kinda go on these lines. Remember, I'm not the best at blending and shading, but I totally trust the Stampin' Up! concept artists where they've put um, the extra little lines in their drawings for these stamped images. So I just kind of copy that. This polished pink is a little um, kind of neon-y, but it dries a little darker. But if you need some neon, <laughs> polished pink is a good color to go to. Um, so with this collection, remember, you get two stamp sets plus a set of dies um, and then some a gorgeous designer series paper pack and DSP we call that. Oh, I'm going to have to use my little color lifter here. Going out of lines a little bit. <laughs> um, so the designer paper, the um, stamp set with the words, which are all holiday themed, and the gold swirl embellishments. Those are all the things that are uh, basically while supplies last, they hope that it lasts through Christmas. But that's kind of to give you an idea of that. Um, here's my color lifter. Let me just see if I can kind of plop that in there a little bit. Silly me. Sometimes when I color, I have to take off my glasses. So I didn't do that today. So it's hard, hard to kind of see where those lines are. So I've got a little Daffodil Delight. You can't really see much these little, little balls. I'm just kind of um, copying some of the colors that are in the designer paper. If you're wondering what made me think of those colors. So Soft Succulent, I'm going to use on these kind of long leaves. And then we'll use the darker green in the evening evergreen for the uh, broader leaves. So just a little bit of, a little bit of color. Again, just trying to coordinate with the um, designer series paper. So this is evening evergreen. I'm just kind of, again, trying to just put some color back to where the concept artist put little lines. Easy peasy. Do you guys like coloring? I really like it. It's very relaxing for me. I know people say, some people find it very therapeutic and I really do. Other people, not so much. If you don't enjoy coloring, then be sure you order the paper <laughs> so that you can use the dies and cut the paper out for this particular card. You won't even have to color anything. All right. So again, instead of cutting it out with my die machine, which I could because the die coordinates with it, but I'm just gonna slide it in behind the area. So before we, oh, I didn't color my middle part. I've just got a light uh, basic black Stampin' Blend. I wanted to do light so that the lines still kind of showed through. But again, matching and coordinating with that designer paper is what I was going for. All right, so we wanna stamp our sentiment 
on this piece, and it says, wishes for a beautiful birthday. And I've got Evening Evergreen ink, and this, uh, this sentiment comes from the Frame Florette set, which is the set that is going to be around in the new spring catalog. All right, so I wanted that to show up quite a bit, so that's why I used the dark evening evergreen ink. Now we are ready. So I want to just put this piece behind this, and then I just have to line it up and then attach it, and then I can just trim off this excess white. So let me get some adhesive, and I'll just try and find some spots that I can put a little adhesive on that will hold that white cardstock in place. Okay. So now I just wanna play around with this a little bit, again, to line it up. There we go. And then I can see obviously where I need to trim. There we go. So that was pretty easy. So now this piece is going to go onto our gorgeous designer paper. So pretty. And I'm just kind of centering it. I want to leave room for the ribbon on the left edge. There we go. All right, so again, this is the Golden Vanilla uh, 3 8 Satin Edge Ribbon. It's just gorgeous. And we can add that before we put this piece onto our card base. Such a simple card, but I think so pretty. So I'm just kind of lining it up there. There we go. And anytime you put gold on a card, it just makes it super fun and beautiful. And I do like using a lot of gold in my holiday cards, even though this one's a birthday, but the, the next one we're gonna make today is a holiday card. All right, and then we'll just make a, a little bow, not too big of one, to fit the space. There we go. And a little glue dot. Now we can add some of those gorgeous little gold swirls. Oh, they're so pretty. Think of a little gold peppermint candy. <laughs> With the swirls, that's what they remind me of. Except they're pretty in gold. All right. So that part looks good. And for our inside, let's move all of our pins out of the way here. For our inside, we can stamp this flower and we're just gonna stamp it in pink. And then no more coloring. Just a little flower stamp that came with this set. paper here. There we go. 
So cute. And we'll just do our envelope at the same time. There we go. And that's with polished pink ink. So I don't know about you guys, but now, as soon as Halloween is over, I kind of really start thinking Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. I know some of you maybe have already been shopping. Have you done some Christmas shopping? I really haven't, but it's time to get my brain switched over <laughs> and figure out some plans. Hopefully there will be some great Black Friday online specials. That's about more my speed these days. If I can get it online, that's great. Okay, so here's our inside. Here's our front. I think that's a really pretty birthday card. What do you think? And our envelope. I hope you guys like it. Nice to have some birthday cards for the new year as well as the fall. All right, are you ready for card number two? This is our Christmas one. And it says, may this season be filled with peace and joy. Isn't it pretty? Check out this paper. This is all part of the same paper pack. So uh, it's the fitting florets. And what I did is I colored in the berries. So let me show you how I did it. So the designer paper comes just like this, uh, 12 by 12, of course. And so I just cut a piece and I used my real red, my light, oh, my dark one, sorry, my dark real red Stampin' Blend. So this is the alcohol marker. And on this one, if you go out um, or if it kind of bleeds a little bit out into the other areas, it's okay because it doesn't really show much. And we're gonna cover up the middle section, so I'm really focused on, um, obviously just the berries that are gonna show, right? So I don't have to color all the berries, but I'll probably hold up my little oval to make sure that I'm coloring enough. But how easy is this? And there's already shading underneath. You can kind of see it's shaded with a little uh, green over the white berry. So as I color it, it's picking up all that shading anyway. So I don't even have to shade it. I just need to just color it. And then the beautiful color comes through. How easy is that, right? Okay, then let's hold up my oval and see where I'm at. this one and then we're probably okay I think so okay now while I'm here I had cut out uh, with the die cuts a little sprig from soft succulent and it has these little round I'm gonna call them berries so I'm gonna color them red while I'm here because we're gonna use this on our card as well Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Just try to coordinate it. All right. So we've got that. Let's move this for now. All right. So I've got a piece of soft succulent that we're going to just attach this uh, designer paper to that we've colored already. Again, check my blog this afternoon for the measurements, chickstamper.com. So you've got a free tutorial there. And um, then we're gonna add this ribbon. So in your card packets, for those of you who, who place an order, you want, first of all, get your order to $50 or more because then you'll get the free whole pack of 
gems there, those beautiful gold swirls. But your ribbon will be cut, your bows will be tied. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Your paper will be cut. And if you don't have the fitted florets, you can use some other stamps that you have, um, holiday stamp, things like that. But consider getting the whole collection. I think it's $97.50. I had posted it a couple days ago. Or just get parts of it if you want. But it is gorgeous. You won't be sorry, that's for sure. Okay. So let's see which way I like this. I think this direction. It's coming together. What do you guys think? I hope you like it. All right. So let me show you this die. Uh, this one particular die from the Florets die set. So it's an oval. So it cuts two pieces. Now, obviously, to get two different colors, we ran this through two times, right? With each once with the darker evening evergreen and the lighter soft succulent separately. But you get this nice piece around the outside, and then, of course, you get an oval. So we've kind of been missing ovals for a little while in our um, store. So it's fun to have ovals back. So this particular oval we're going to stamp on. And we're gonna use Sweet Sorbet ink. It's just a little brighter than the real red. And I found when I was playing that I just liked the way it um, kind of stood out and popped a little bit more because of its brightness. So the, whoops, let me get the right stamp set. The Framed and Festive stamp set. This is the one that's only available uh, while supplies last for the next month or two. But it's geared towards Christmas, you can see that. So I'm using the May the Season Be Filled with Peace and Joy stamp. It is a cling stamp, so it's a red rubber stamp, you can see. Whereas the uh, other stamp set that comes with it, the Frame Florets, is a uh, photopolymer, which is the clear. So let's see if I can get this on there when it's clean like this in red rubber. It's hard, a little harder to see where you're stamping. So just going to say a little prayer and put it on down there. Oh, that's good. And again, we're using the Sweet Sorbet uh, ink for that, a little brighter. And I think it, it looks more red once it's on this soft succulent color. All right, now we get to connect these together. So you could put this down, we're gonna use Stampin' Dimensionals, put this down first and then put this over it. I'm going to um, kind of attach them with my dimensionals on the back with the placement of it. So we can use big ones, we can use small ones. But I'll just kind of see, I'm gonna put a couple down and make sure I like the angle that it's at. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, so then we'll keep going, putting these around and you can see I'm just kind of covering up that seam. And then we'll put a couple in the middle. And then we're gonna straddle the ribbon on the card so we don't have any bumps and lumps <laughs> on our card. And again, we're gonna cover up these white berries. But I wanna, oh, I forgot, I did forget, so I might have to add some ink there. I wanna come a little over to the, to the side so I have room for a bow over here, and I did forget that, but that's okay. I can get my red marker in there a little bit. Okay, all better. So 
so we've got room for a bow and then we're also going to add our uh, sprig here. So I'm just gonna get a, a mini glue dot, kind of roll it up a little bit. It's okay if it shows a little because I've got the, the bow to cover it as well. So we'll just kind of put them on there. And if you wanted to tack this down, you could. And then our pretty ribbon, let's make another bow for this card and add our gold swirls. Because again, I just love using gold on my Christmas cards. I know I say that every year, but it's true. <laughs> Okay, let's trim this one. And then we can just put it on right here. And I might make it a little smaller, I guess. That is kind of a small area there. There we go. Okay, and back to our Beautiful gold swirls. And you can see this pack. Let's see how many there are. 75. There's a lot in here. That'll last me a lot of Christmas cards. How about you? Okay, let's see, let's do our inside. So on the inside I've got a little, a little stamp from the framed florette step set. And I'm gonna kind of turn it into, I'm not even sure because there probably is not a plant that looks like this, but that's okay. We'll just kind of make it up. And that was Evening Evergreen ink, you guys. And we'll just color this in real quick. Just so that it ties in with the front of the card. I mean, it's not really a holly, right? Because there's no berries and green leaves. But I wanted to add green, or excuse me, I wanted to add some of the red to the inside of the card, so this was how I did it. And then the same thing, real lightly on the envelope, because I didn't put a little piece in between to keep it from bleeding through. So we'll just barely touch the paper Okay. So another piece of soft succulent for our inside, just like the previous card. And there we go. And you could put another sentiment on the inside if you wanted. Um, Merry Christmas or something. Depending how much space you want for writing and all that good stuff. All right, card number two. What do you guys think? And then here's the ones from both of the ones today. I think they're really cute. This, this collection of products is just really fun. And I'm a sucker. I just love something when, when it's all brand new. Um, new product. The flowers are gorgeous. 
uh, the words, the seasonal holiday words are, are just beautiful. Nice sayings, and I love the font. And look at this, I love the fa la la, -la. <laughs> Um, but this set I know will be really great to have in the spring catalog because it has some beautiful sentiments. So lucky to call you friend for a special person on a special day. Just a little reminder, you are loved. I mean, it just has beautiful sayings, not just birthday. Today I made a birthday card, but you could do all sorts of things with it. All right. I'm going to turn the camera back up, you guys. Hang on just a sec. Let's see. Oh, now I got to rotate it again. Oh my goodness. Just when I think I got this Apple stuff figured out. Something happens. Oh, thanks, Marian. I'm glad. Hi, Allie. How are you? Thanks for joining in today. Got new product. Just a reminder, everybody. Um, when you order at the... Uh, with the host code, and it's over $50, not only will you receive the class packet, but you'll also receive a full pack of embellishments. So that is pretty exciting because those are gorgeous and I don't know how long they're gonna be here. I have ordered um, a bunch, so I'll be ready to ship those next week. That order should come Monday or Tuesday and then they can ship on Wednesday with the kits. Um, oh, oh, I know what I had to tell you guys. All right, so card club. I have an extra one, maybe two, I'm not positive. I might just have one extra packet for this month. And if you want it, it's yours. You need to let me know. Uh, shipped to you is $45. And you'll receive by email a full tutorial, color tutorial. And if you want to participate in our monthly Zoom, you can. But it's not required, so it's up to you. And that Zoom is Saturday the 19th this month. Uh, six beautiful holiday cards. And here's two of them. Get them on camera, Carol. There's one, and there's the other one. And we've got some fun folds. We've just got some really pretty uh, uh, fun things. It's using the Lights of Glow Suite. So you, you'll receive in your packet a half a pack of the Lights of Glow paper. Uh, so it's six by six this month, so it's a half a pack of that. A full pack of the ribbon, and it's the same ribbon that we use today, the golden vanilla. That one, you'll receive a full bolt of that, as well as a full pack of the festive pearls, which are the pearls that are gold and silver, uh, green and red. So, and six full cards prepped for you. So no stamps, no ink, no adhesives. But you can add that, and if you don't have the Lights of Glow Suite, you can substitute your stamps. Um, or that can be your purchase today to get today's product for free. However you wanna do it. But just so you know, I've got those, and I'm happy to share um, with you guys so that it just doesn't sit here. Somebody can have some beautiful Christmas cards. Okay, so here we are in November. So guess who is coming to visit next week? Um, for the whole rest of the month is my daughter from Ireland and her husband and her two little ones. So I probably won't be doing another video until December, but I may try to just do a video and not a live video. But with a three-year-old and three-month-old, I'm not sure that I would get a live video done. But I'm so excited. They're coming for three whole weeks. So We've got some really great family stuff planned with our son and his family, and then my daughter will be here, and and we're just gonna celebrate the holidays for three weeks straight. So thanks, Marianne, I knew you would love that. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, but I will miss you guys, but I will still be online, and I'll still, some of sometimes, I just won't be as much. But always message me, know that you can always send me a message if you have a question, things like that. Um, I will be touching base and, and all that good stuff. But other than that, I just probably won't do a, a live video for the rest of the month. So happy, happy Thanksgiving. And I hope that you enjoy your time. Uh, if you get to see your family, if not, maybe video chat, things like that. That's beautiful and wonderful. My mother-in-law is also coming for a week in the midst of my daughter being here. So um, 
it's going to be a great time. I'm really looking forward to it. And of course, my mother-in-law can't wait to see all the great grandkids and, and grandkids. But, but anyway, so happy Thanksgiving. Message me um, if you guys have any questions about your order or if you need help. I'm happy to help you place your order. You know that. Um, all orders through Monday are available to receive today's uh, class kit. So, and you'll receive that for free. I will ship it out to you on Wednesday. All right. Oh, thanks. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. I love you all. Take care. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.